Hi everyone, I'm Vienna Marie and I am a creative based in Sydney, Australia. I am also a photographer and videographer and I have teamed up with Godox today to talk about video lighting, especially using their macro light. As a creative that is always constantly on the go and needing gear that's light and compact, the Godox Ring 72 LED light is one of my go-tos, especially when it comes to shooting macros and detailed shots. What I love about this LED light is one, that it's lightweight and it's very easy to use. You just swivel it on onto your lens of choice and bam, there you go, instant light for whatever occasion or situation that you need. Number two would be the fact that it helps for both video and photography, which is a huge plus. Lastly, it supports both detachable lithium battery and four AA batteries, meaning that you have power when you are constantly on the go and needing something to light straight away. Don't forget to like and subscribe Godox's official channel and wait till the end for a free product giveaway. All right, so we are now in my home studio to give you a bit more flexibility in seeing how to actually use this in a home studio setting. The combo that I've chosen to shoot this is the Sony 90mm G lens with a 62 thread ring on it. I'm going to quickly shoot some without the light first, so I'll switch this off and I'll show you from there. What I really appreciate about this product is the fact that it's just really easy to use. When I look at it particularly, it's quite warm and it makes me feel approachable to it. So if I was to be in front of the lens or go in front of someone else, it wouldn't be as overwhelming as other ring lights that probably influencers or vloggers use on their YouTube. But this one is pretty good. It's also quite aesthetically pleasing knowing that you have full control um, because it's round shape. I just feel personally that it's just a nice touch to your camera. The fact that it's both the ring light and the control unit at the top that's light is a huge plus. If you're a photographer and videographer, gear is everything and also your health is everything too. So you kind of want to make sure that you're stable and that you're secure in the way that you operate and film. And this ring light is definitely one that isn't too hard and something I would recommend for the books. For this demonstration, I'm quickly going to show you how the light can be customized in terms of the power of the light, either it being at full light or half light and just going through the ranges of the levels that you can do for either of them. So we're quickly going to turn on the light itself. And at the moment, it is at full ring light. Now, as you can see, you can swivel in between, either turning off the right one or the left one here, and even turning back one on and going through from the levels of one, swiveling it through up to 10. This can demonstrate some bits of contrast and dimension or dynamics in your video of photography that you're capturing, in this case, the food photography, or we can put it onto the other side, creating more shadows as well. Same sort of thing, swiveling through the levels one to 10, or if you would like to have it at full light, you can do that by pressing L and R and then having it go through. And just figuring out which one you would like to capture, either for photo or video. Comparing the two of video and photography, the differences that I see is obviously that brightens the image, but also brings out those little intricate details and textures that probably your eye wouldn't be able to pick up unless it's actually lit. 
So before we begin, I'm just going to take some before and after shots so you can really see the difference of using a ring light and not using one. So this is the raw that you'll see here. And now I'm going to just quickly look at it with some light. That's nice. Now, what I really think at the moment, because it's quite harsh, the lighting, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to actually dial down one of the things here so we can get a bit more dramatic lighting. Now, the good thing is it doesn't have to be fully dramatic, but I think it will just add some nice sort of dimension to it. While we're on that topic, I'm going to quickly get some video of this as well. And this is without lighting. Now we're just going to turn it on, turn the light on. So at the moment, I'm only putting it the right dial which is at an eight, and the one on the left is at a one. So yeah, you just see straight away reflecting and exposing on the textures, so the viewer and the audience can really see already what the cookie is like. It's actually feeding into, pun intended, the senses of the viewer. Though I use it on the camera most of the time, one of the best things about it is that you can actually slip off the light and use it within cable's reach. As a creative, it's always nice to have that bonus of flexibility and just problem solving. And to have that with a light that is portable like that, that's a huge plus in my books. One of the other things that are great about this light is that it actually hits 56,000K daylight, which is a plus again, when it comes to hitting the details that you need. We are here at the studio. We are about to do another demonstration of what it's like to control the lighting with your hand with the ring light actually off. So we're gonna quickly just slip it off here, bringing it upwards towards the ceiling. And then just bring it towards the product, whatever you would like to do to help illuminate it. So we can bring it around in a beautiful shape, in a circle or whatever other form you'd like to desire for it to enhance the product that you are shooting. We can even bring it up closer, high above it. Which is really, really nice for food photography or even food video. You can bring it back for even a nice reveal shot. Coming on through. All right, so we're basically now going to get to the next level of what we can do definitely with textures. This being with the lemon. So we've actually sliced it up and what you'll see in the next clip is how we actually get a much more dynamic and dramatic lighting. We've actually added some haze in a can to enhance the experience of it and really bring out the textures and just the different foregrounds and the detail of what we're actually gonna go with for this. All right, so we are going to do something different for this scenario. Pretty much we're gonna focus on some jewelry here that I've set up in a container of water decked out with flowers. We're gonna do a different type of shot with something that is smaller. So let's try it out. The fact that you have those two dual turning switches really makes it easier for you being on the job. A good pro to this is definitely if you are time crunched and you are under that pressure, instead of having to go set up your lighting and everything, the fact that it's just there and then at the tip of your lens, it's just easy. Also, the Ring 72 light just gives intricate details to the textures that I've laid out here with the piece of jewelry. It's very powerful when it comes to detail and texture like that, which is a huge plus when it comes to e-commerce and getting those minor details for jewelry itself. Mm. 
So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and that you learnt something from this photography slash videography tutorial. Godox and I can't wait to see what you guys actually come up with, either it being for corporate, creative purposes. Remember, it's small, lightweight, compact, and I agree that it's definitely something that I use in my everyday kit when I'm constantly on the go for photography or video. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Vienna Marie and hope to see you in future episodes.